Welcome back to my channel. One of my favorite videos to do every single month is to share my current empty containers. This is where I share all the products I emptied out over the past month. This is a video I have done over and over again, month after month for several years. And it's not only a favorite of mine, but I know it's a favorite of y'all's too, because you see a lot of the same products over and over again. Those are obviously my holy grail old faithfuls. But then I also give quick little reviews on items that I've introduced to y'all and tried out. And I kind of let you know, would I buy them again? So without further ado, here you have it. Currently empty July, 2020. Okay, first up, I am going to start with hair products because these two products, you're no stranger to them. I love them. Let's just check them off the box, move along. So of course it is the Detox Dry Shampoo. I wash my hair about once a week, so I go through lots of cans of this. It is by Dry Bar. I love the original scent in the blonde color. It is one of the only dry shampoos that I've really consistently reached for month after month. Now I will say I do love the Heritage Dry Shampoo almost as much as this. I don't love the smell of it, and I feel like this I can layer on day after day, whereas some, after you've used it like two days in a row, they just stop working. So this one is one of the only dry shampoos that I feel like I can build upon and I don't get that chalky gross buildup on my scalp. Okay, next up, it is the Kerastase VIP Volume In Powder. This is basically if an aerosol and a volumizing powder had a baby. Um, so you just spray it in your hair. Oh, I got one last shake. You just spray it in your hair and you can really just like tousle and separate and get that full volume. So if you're somebody with really fine hair and maybe you have a lot of fine hair, this would be a great way to add more volume without weighing your hair down. Moving right along, this is actually a new product that I introduced last month that I had started using. It's the Necessaire Body Wash. This is the eucalyptus scent. I love their products. They're multivitamin, cleanse, nourish, balance. They are clean products. The smell just reminds me of a spa, particularly like the Miraval spa. So I'm just, anything that has that eucalyptus spa scent, I am all in. I have super sensitive skin. I've talked about this before. Obviously I have rosacea on my face, but as a child, my mom had to be very careful about the items that I would put on my body. So she was always really kind of paranoid about letting me try like scented cute bubble baths or any of those types of items. Switching body washes is always kind of a big thing for me and I am very kind of particular about them. This one I tried with zero hesitation and it definitely lives up to the hype. Next is two lipsticks that are going to come as no surprise. It's the Bare Minerals Boss. This is the matte liquid lip. These last quite a while. I think primarily it's because a little bit of this product goes a long way and because it is matte and long lasting, you're not having to reapply it over and over again. And then this is a color that I had like found when I moved to Kyle's house and forgot how much I loved it, but it's Estee Lauder Raw Sugar. I went through a raw sugar phase about three years ago and I don't know why I stopped wearing it. Maybe just because I started wearing like Velvet Teddy or Pillow Talk or that one, but I just was reintroduced to my love for raw sugar. So both of these are definitely getting purchased again. And last but not least, it is three skincare items I finished this month. First up, it's the SkinCeutical CE Ferulic. You guys know I can't live without a vitamin C every morning. Consider a vitamin C serum as your skin's antioxidant throughout the day. So it's really just a healthy vitamin that's gonna help you fight your skin fight against free radicals. It's gonna help against pollution in the air. It's just honestly, it's the perfect first item to put on your skin right in the morning to give your skin that extra antioxidant boost. I follow this up with the Hyaluronic Acid Boosting Serum. As you know, Hyaluronic Acid holds its weight a thousand times in water. I love, I don't think there's anything left in this. No, there's not. I've tried to do that like six times. I love anything that's gonna give me that glowy, dewy consistency. I love the consistency of this product. It's over $100, so it's not cheap. And the one bottle, I do two pumps in the morning, two pumps at night, will last me exactly 30 days. Here's the hot tip coming for you. They do on like skin store and derm store sales on these all the time. So once I saw that they were continually doing like 25% off sales, 30% off sales for like Memorial Day and they did like a Mother's Day one and they did one during like National Sunscreen Day, a bunch of stuff on their website went on sale. Both of those sites are always doing sales. So I have not purchased it full price since I initially bought this bottle. The reason I bought this bottle for the first place is because you might remember when I shared my current skincare routine, I was still using 
taking that tiny little sample. Well, I took the plunge, bought these, love them. I also want to remind you that I have a what's the hype about hyaluronic acid where I reviewed this one and the ordinary. If you haven't seen it, sorry, spoiler alert. The final review for me personally was I liked this one because it's more of a smooth, silky consistency, whereas the ordinary I think is more like sticky and tacky and comes out more in like a watery consistency. Honestly, I think it's just a matter of your personal preference, but this one with what I was gonna layer on top of it, whether it was a moisturizer or a foundation or a CC cream, I just preferred this for my skin type. And last but not least is another new item that I purchased. I actually bought these together. And when I got this and shared uh, my order, so many of y'all said, oh my gosh, the Is Clinical Cleansing Complex is like my ride or die cleanser. So that really made me excited. And after using it, I've had this bottle for maybe almost three months. A little goes a long way. I use about a dime size to clean my whole face, but I do that in a double cleanse. So if you're not using this in a double cleanse, I'd use probably about a quarter. I only use it at nighttime when I wear makeup. I don't wash my face in the morning, but it's a resurfacing, clearing, deep cleansing complex. It has bionutrients, antioxidants. I just really, really liked it. I felt like my skin was really clean without getting stripped. So there you have it. It is my currently empties for the month of July. Hey, I want to know what products you emptied out this month. So be sure to let me know and leave your review in the comments below. Also for more empties from all the months prior, or if you want to see any more beauty, skincare, tutorials, how to style, fashion, whatever you want to see, you can find it all at currently.com.